Hey guys, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials and welcome to another video. This one is going to be about the Xiaomi Redmi 4A and uh, probably one of the most requested videos till date on this particular channel. Reason being, uh, this gives you access to a ROM which converts your phone into an iPhone. Well, not exactly. But then again, this is the iOS ROM and the install process is a little skeptical, little confusing. That is the reason I'm going to take you through a step by step process on how to go ahead and install iOS ROM on the Xiaomi Redmi 4A. Now, before we begin, we have two things to take care of. One, if you haven't already, please check this video and stand a chance to win a brand new Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. And uh, if you want, if you've not already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon. Now, the second thing that we're going to talk about is a lot of you guys have been requesting to put up the videos in Hindi. Now, you know, as much as I tried to and I would love to, it becomes very difficult to edit two different videos in two different languages. So one, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, try to put subtitles in as many videos as possible in Hindi. And uh, here's a poll to that. So let me know if you would like subtitles, if that's okay with you or you want the same video in two different languages, that is one in English and one in Hindi. So with that said, without further ado, Hello awesome people, my name is Kailash, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's begin. Alright, so before we begin, the first thing that we need to take care of is, uh, yeah, so you'll be losing all your data, so backup, 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 have more than 50% battery on your Redmi 4A and uh, you need to be on an unlock bootloader with a custom recovery like TWRP. So if you want to know how to unlock the bootloader and install TWRP on the Redmi 4A, there's a video that I've made on that, a uh, card to that is displayed above. So please go ahead and uh, look at that video and have TWRP ready. Now this particular ROM, the installation process is not like other ROMs. This is basically an Android backup that we are going to restore and then we are going to flash a few zips. Now the link is there in the description to download the ROM, but let me show you what the process is. Now let me go to gadgets, Rolex, iOS. All right, so this is the file that you will have when you will go ahead and download the ROM. Double click on it and select all the files. Go to extract to, so that I would extract it to the desktop and name it iOS 11. So let the extraction happen. Now, as I said, internal storage, memory card, backup everything. The memory card will not be formatted, but Please be very careful with your data because nothing can be done afterwards and uh, make sure you do this at your own risk, all right? So the extraction is now complete and if we go to the desktop, this is the folder and these are the files that we have. Extract an SD card, fix one, fix two, fix three. This is a custom recovery that we have, all right? Now what we need to do is double click on this file double click on this folder called wolf again double click on this folder called z a l o h y again and once again double click now once you reach the ios 11 folder this is what we need to extract because this is what we need to copy to a particular location in your phone's internal memory so go to extract to and select the ios 11 folder and extract it there now wait for the extraction to complete and while that happens what I would suggest is uh, connect your phone to the computer so that we can copy the necessary files to your phone. All right, so now that you see that the phone is connected to the computer and if you look at the screen, so what you need to do next is go to the extracted folder, copy this iOS 11 folder and go to your phone's internal memory. And now I'm using Wolf or Red Wolf TWRP, so it says Wolf, but normally for you it would say TWRP, so just open this and paste it here. Now remember, you need at least two to four gigabytes of internal storage or external memory card space for this because this file is huge. And at the same time, while this is copying, let me also tell you that you need to go ahead and copy these three fixes to your phone's internal memory because these are three flashable zips now once we are completed you know once we are done restoring this particular file we will go ahead and flash these three zips and then we will boot into the ios 11 rom at the same time if you want to use the exact same recovery you can always flash this red wolf recovery and you will have the exact same wolf folder now as i said earlier 
instead of the wolf folder if you have something like twrp if you have something like twrp that is completely fine just copy the ios 11 folder in the twrp folder and later fix one fix two and fix three copy and just paste them to the internal storage the root directory we will wait for this file to completely copy because otherwise it will give us a message saying that uh, the phone is busy and stuff it shows three minutes but it should usually happen within a minute or two all right so now we will copy these three files and paste them to your phone's internal memory there you go so all the files are now copied and on your phone's internal memory once again if you are you know if you've reached till here then it should be a piece of cake for the remaining flashing process we will move to the phone now so let's see what we need to do on the phone all right so all the files have been copied to the phone's internal memory and now the flashing part now once again you need to have twrp to install this particular rom so in order to boot into twrp first we will go ahead and press and hold okay press and hold the power button and we will go to recovery mode okay now that is because i have a custom rom installed but what if you are on miui so we will just do a shutdown first so touch to shut down wait for the phone to completely power off now it looks like it is completely powered off and then what you need to do is press and hold let me show you this is the power button and this is the volume up button so press and hold both of these till the time you see the mi logo now the moment you see the mi logo you can just go ahead and leave those buttons and wait for the phone to boot into twrp now as i said earlier it is possible to do this process on official twrp but i'm using red wolf because I just like the look of it, you know, there's no specific reason for that. So once you have booted up into Red Bull TWRP, now this is where we are going to erase everything. Now, we won't be erasing internal storage and we won't be erasing the external SD card. So that is safe, but we will still be erasing all the data. So we will go to wipe and then we will swipe to wipe. Okay. All right. So the wipe is complete. Now what we need to do is remember we had copied the iOS 11 folder to a folder called Wolf or TWRP. So we just need to go to restore and you see the iOS 11 folder here. Okay, let me zoom in for you guys. There you go. So this is the iOS 11 folder here. All right. So then select the iOS 11 folder and these three partitions need to be checked boot data system then all you need to do is swipe to restore all right so the process of restoring this particular rom has begun all right and let me tell you that this will take at least five to ten minutes so please be patient while that happens all right so as you can see now uh, the restore is complete so this part is done. What we need to do next, remember the three files that we had copied. So go to install and flash the fix one zip first. So there you go. The first zip is flashing now. After that, go to install again and select the fix two zip and install that now. Okay. Once that is done, go to install again and select fix 3-zip and swipe to install. There you go. Alright, it says script succeeded. So basically the complete install process for iOS ROM is done. Now all you need to do is reboot system and wait for the phone to boot. Now remember this is a custom ROM which takes a very very long time to boot so it will take at least five to ten minutes for the first boot to complete so please wait for the boot to happen all right so the phone has booted up now this is the only bug that I found in this ROM uh, the brightness stays extremely low so look closely uh, if you had a MI account logged in it will ask you to activate the device so enter your MI account password and you should be on the home screen so let me just put it to auto brightness all right, so we enabled auto brightness and this is what we have on the screen right now. You might mistake it for an Apple iPhone. Now, 
This is the, you know, replica or sort of a port ROM. It is still based on MIUI. It is still a MIUI ROM. But then again, if you look at the way it is skinned, it looks like an iPhone completely. And the best part is there are no bugs uh, in day-to-day -day use. Now, once I tried to connect it to the computer and it didn't detect internal storage, but in TWRP it was. So that is a workaround. Now, let me show you settings real quick. This is display and brightness, it says sign into your iPhone. Now it's basically a software menu where you can check for updates and stuff, but this will not be getting any software updates. Now one thing that you need to be very, very aware of, if you want to go back, you need to press the home key once. And if you want to go to the main screen, press and hold the home key. And if you want the multitasking menu, you need to tap it twice. There you go. So that is it, that is the iOS ROM and uh, if you want me to do a review of this particular ROM, let me know in the comments section. But everything works, voice over LT works, camera works, everything is working as you would expect in a normal MIUI ROM and everything is perfect. I used it for a day, I did not find any major bugs, no major lags, no random reboots and stuff like that. It's just that the install process for this particular ROM is very very tricky. So that was the install and preview of iOS ROM for you guys. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe. If I missed anything, let me know in the comment section. The link for the downloads or the thread of this particular ROM will be there in the description. And remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell icon. Once again, thank you for your time. Take care. Goodbye.